Good morning. Guess what? I just had to sit through a mandatory Windows 10 update that took an hour to install. I booted on my computer this morning and then before I could do anything it said restarting. It did not give me an option to postpone or refuse the update or anything and uh, then I just basically got to watch progress bar for an hour. That is not cool Windows. Uh, they told me on one of the install screens, oh, lots of new features to get excited about, and then it finishes its update. What are those features? I don't know. It did helpfully inform me at one point, all your files are exactly where you left them, and I'm like, good? Uh, <laughs> like, ugh. So, I'm a little bit disgusted with uh, Microsoft right now. I mean, maybe these new features are great, and you know what? If you're going to do an update that takes an hour, you need to give me some warning. Because, okay, look, the grand scheme of these, <laughs> these things, the fact that I do a video every day uh, in the morning before I get ready for work, that's on me. You know what I mean? So a delay on that is like, it's not a big deal in the grand scheme of things. It is a minor inconvenience, really, at worst. But come on. Is it so hard to have just a little dialog box pop up and say, Windows has an update that needs and it needs to restart. Would you like to do it now or postpone for an hour? Like, I know that these sorts of mandatory updates are probably something that they need to do because some of the things that they want to include and the data that they want to collect and the way they want to run requires as many computers as possible to all be in the same version of the software. I get that that's a thing. And I don't even really object to the mandatory updates as part of what, you know, it's like I got Windows 10 for free. So that's part of what it is, I guess, is that it requires these mandatory updates. But to have something that takes an hour that I can't even postpone, I had no warning about, that's kind of BS, Microsoft. That's not cool. So I've actually kind of gone ahead and like gotten ready for work. And you know what? It's like even still, like I would normally have left by now. Um, the only things that I can really tell that are different on my screen is that I don't have a little clock in my lower right anymore. Some things about my start bar on the bottom seem different. Who knows what else is going on there? At least while I'm recording this now, my webcam software seems to be operating as, as it should. My desktop seems unchanged other than those minor changes to the start bar. Um, but yeah, I'm a little irritated right now. Uh, this is just something that seems like such a basic piece of software functionality that like you let people know when you're going to update. And if they're making such a big deal about, oh, this is a big deal update, lots of new changes to get excited about. How about tell me what they are? Yeah, maybe, but no, nothing. So that's irritating. Um, but yeah, anyway, it's fine. Um, I feel like I've been complaining a lot on social media lately. And so here's another video where I'm complaining about something. But I don't know, it's a little weird. I feel like in some ways uh, I'm, I'm having a little bit of a, a, a stress transition reaction to just changing my schedule uh, the way I have lately, uh, both doing the daily writing for Phyllis Esposito, but then also trying to build in uh, some of the things that I want to do to get, you know, to do like the ebook or audio versions of it, and maybe preparing to do uh, a Patreon. All I've got various things happening, parallel processing in the background here. And then, of course, like that's enough time that it takes to do that, that it, the time has to come from somewhere else, right? And so I think I'm having a little bit of 
you know, uh, a uh, subconscious reaction to that. It's making me a little bit grumpy. I don't really feel that grumpy, but I think it's coming out in my social media a little bit. So I think I'm going to have to try to focus on being a little bit more positive. And I had this plan to have today's video be all about that. And then this Windows 10 thing, and I just could not let that go unaddressed. So, and now I'll talk to you guys tomorrow for five more minutes.